this animation, we'll be talking about RFLP or Restriction Fragment Length Polymorphism. The technique centers around the digestion of genomic DNA digested with a restriction enzyme or RE. RE are isolated from bacteria and cut at specific sites. This recognition site is associated with any type of gene and distributed randomly throughout the genome. Now let's begin. Let's say we are having three different individuals and we are having three different types of cells. And from each of these cells we isolate DNA. Now, after isolation of this genomic DNA, so let, let's take, let's zoom into this DNA first. So we get this DNA here. When the genomic DNA is digested with one of these restriction enzyme series of fragments are produced of varying length. As we can see here in first case we generated these two fragments. In the second case we generated another two different fragments. And in third case we will be generating another two different kinds of fragments. Now remind you that this restriction enzyme that we use for all these different DNA or different DNA of different cells are same. So we digest all the DNA with the same restriction enzyme. Now after getting these fragments, we load all these fragments into the different whales of an agarose gel. And then we'll run the gel and what we get is a kind of characteristic pattern. Now this characteristic pattern is due to base pair deletion, inversion, transversion and translocation between inside the DNA. Now result in loss or gain at recognition site causing a fragment of different length and character. That's what is all about RFLP. Now we can get the different nature or different fingerprint after loading the gel depending upon the site change due to any kind of mutation that is base pair deletion, inversion, transversion or translocation like that. So by looking at it we can tell which individual we are talking about. 